my lovely, lovely imps, uh, deranged, uh, homunculus and wax mo uh, monster Michael Knowles, who recently called for the complete elimination of transgenderism, aka a deranged bigot, uh, has found himself in a position of great fear. You see, Michael Knowles discovered a dark secret, the ultimate weapon of the LGBTQ plus community that we have been seeking, we have been keeping secret, orbiting around the forest moon of Endor. This weapon was originally designed to ensure the Alphabet Mafia had full grasp on the entirety of the Galactic Republic. But unfortunately, Michael Knowles discovered the truth and now we have to watch him quiver in fear because we will not be stopped. Listen up. The guest is Genevieve. Well, today. Sorry, hold on a second. It's your lucky day, sweet baby kazoo. My guest is, in fact, uh, Genevieve Gluck, uh, women's rights campaigner, founder of... Re oh, okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. I know that I'm pausing literally 10 seconds into the clip. This lady's name is Genevieve Gluck, which to me is like inviting Peter Swallow onto your show. It's just... Uh, can, P can, can Bigot stop having the most porn names you can possibly imagine. Like Johnson Gargler. Like, come the fuck on. Too much. It's too much. I can't, I can't do it. Let's go. Anyway, sorry. Let's go. Let's go. Dukes. I'm almost certain that I'm mispronouncing that even though I've read the name of this publication a thousand times. This is what's so embarrassing when you read instead of hear these things. Uh, but it is an unapologetically pro-woman outlet. Uh, focused on gender identity. And Genevieve can shed some light on this phenomenon that, that frankly, as I've said on the show, I don't even want to look into because I have been told and then I've read on different fora that talk about this phenomenon that there is a kind of pornography that is apparently a driver of the transgender identity that is so perverse. A driver of the transgender identity... <laughs> yes! Yes! Watch the sissy hypno! Watch it! Yes! That it, it, it constitutes a kind of hypnosis where men will say, I was a normal guy, I lived to be 41, 42, and I was basically normal, but then I fell into this kind of pornography. So true! and it essentially melted my brain. I had a nervous breakdown. Now I think that I'm a woman. So rather than have to expose myself to that, and then, you know, I have to go to confession, potentially my brain gets melted. I can just talk to Genevieve about it. Genevieve, <laughs> thank you for coming on the show. Thank you so much for having me on the show. So there's a lot I want to talk about with you. We don't have nearly enough time, so maybe we'll just have to have you back and talk about it at greater length. But can you just give not only the audience, but me a rundown what is, among all of the types of pornography that lead to transgenderism, what is this hypnosis pornography? Well, you touched on a good point there. There are many types of pornography that are sort of involved with the transgender movement. Um, but hypnosis pornography is a little bit different in that it incorporates your lifestyle. Sweet baby, because you said... Michael knows. You will never stop us. Our sissy hypno will bring your disgusting movement to its knees. All of your boys will become sissies before us. You cannot stand before the dark side. Oh, God. Okay, jokes aside. Jokes aside, everybody. Um, of course, this is not the first time that conservatives have had uh, complete and utter mental breakdowns over the existence of hypnosis porn. So let me just take a moment for the, just in case there's anybody out there who isn't already laughing really hard at how absurd and stupid this is. Let me just 
be clear. First of all, hypnosis porn is not the same thing as hypnosis. Hypnosis porn is a uh, it's a fetish kink. It's not actual hypnosis. It's it's meant to get you off to a specific idea. That's it. It doesn't control your mind. Secondly, hypnosis can't mind control you. Hypnosis doesn't control your mind. Um, hypnosis can only engage you with things that you already want to do. Hypnosis isn't like in a movie where some guy with a with a top hat and a little moon symbol on it waves a pocket watch in front of you and then all of a sudden you're a zombie that does whatever they want. Hypnosis at its very most is basically calming you down so that you can uh, so that you can feel calm enough to do something that you were already willing to do anyway at the suggestion of somebody else. So stage hypnosis is not even a real thing. It's a mixture of uh, of performance, like desire to perform, and calming yourself down enough to actually do that performance at the suggestion of somebody else. Hypnosis. Even the most advanced forms of hypnosis cannot make you do something that you don't want to do. You just stop being calm, which means the hypnosis stops working. Okay, guys? So, hypnosis is not fucking magic, okay? I know that conservatives think that, like, you can cast a fireball spells out of a D&D &D manual, that if you play EverQuest online for too many hours, you'll learn how to summon imps and demons in your basement. Um, but that's just not how these things work, okay? They just, that's just, not, not, it's just, no, it's not how it works. Now, of course, Michael Knowles, personally, might be at risk of being hypnotized and immediately sucking the cock of every single man in a square mile radius, but I have a feeling that's because he already wants to do that anyway. And the hypnosis might just help him build up the courage and the confidence and the calmness to actually do that. Um, I just want you guys to just realize something. Now that we've gotten the, the, the important, very educational segment out of the way, conservatives are fucking insane. Okay, they're actually, they've actually lost their minds. They're at the point in their movement where they believe that transgender wizards are casting e-spells that can turn you into a trans. That's, that's where they're at. Michael Knowles is not like an unpopular conservative figure. Now, to be fair, he's not that popular, but he is popular among conservatives. And uh, again, here he is running a show about uh, fear mongering about w magical porn videos that if you watch them, it will melt your brain and turn you into a little coming sissy. Yeah, so these are the types of people that we're dealing with now. Um, this is what you have to realize. This is the way that the, 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 the movement goes, okay? Now, to tie this into some historical precedent, um, I don't know if you guys know this, but this isn't the first time um, absolutely insane, disconnected from reality, and deranged beliefs have propagated against a hated minority group. Um, the Nazis, for example, believed that uh, Jewish people would actually grow horns and that they had to hide their horns underneath their yarmulke. And that's why they wore yarmulkes was because they had little demon horns hidden underneath their yarmulke. Um, they believed that Jewish people could hypnotize you just by looking in your eyes, that they had a magical ability to hypnotize you. Um, it's the same, the same thing. They're doing the same thing. They're, they're just Nazis, guys. They're just doing the same exact thing, okay? Um, but I guess uh, the transgenders truly have developed the ultimate doomsday weapon. The ultimate doomsday weapon, it, which is a gr grainy Pornhub video filmed on a, a Ye blue Yeti snowball uh, that says... 
You want to put on thigh-high leggings. You want to be a cute little girl. Ooh, ooh, you want to wear the pink dress. Oh, you want to dance around. That's the super weapon, everybody. That's it. We've been exposed. Um, yeah. Yep. I don't know what to tell. I don't know what else to say. <laughs> There's not much else to say. Conservatives uh, have lost the plot. Uh, thankfully, most Americans, even in America, a country that does not always have the greatest grasp on reality, uh, even in America, most conservatives find this to be insane and they would listen to this. And if they were asked what they actually thought about it, they would go, oh, that sounds deranged. Uh, that sounds made up. Uh, thankfully, even conservatives. Um, but unfortunately, their goal is to ensure that less and less people uh, have that sort of rationality check. Uh, every single day, people like Michael Knowles, uh, Matt Walsh, basically the entire Daily Wire team, TPUSA, um, uh, Steven Crowder for, our, for however long he's around, uh, in the past, this this guy nobody remembers named Tucker Carlson, uh, these guys, their job is to repeat this propaganda to the degree that, that the everyday conservative actually starts to believe that it might be true because they hear it so often. It's literally, they are plastering the walls with their propaganda. Um, and it smells, and it's terrible. And, uh, yeah. I say this almost every single stream these days, but I'm just gonna reiterate it now. The conservative movement, specifically in America, but beyond as well, must be defeated, okay? Like, it abs like it needs to be electorally, socially, culturally defeated. These people who walk around believing that you can be mind controlled from a grainy Pornhub video into becoming trans, these people who have genuinely convinced themselves that the only reason that anybody would come out as trans is because they were mind controlled by a porn video, um, they, they cannot, they are incompatible with a future, uh, uh, uh with a future of, of, of any type. Their world is like, I don't, I can't, I don't even know how you envision a world like that. What, what is a world where everybody is quivering because they're scared that somebody's going to whisper in their ear and, and the devil will turn them into a trans person? They're, they're, they have to be made irrelevant. If these people want to go live out in the woods and, and have their little, uh, deranged anti-witch parties in the woods and you know they want to live on their little uh, oh we, we made a little Christian uh, Christian colony out in the woods where all of our women are treated like Steven Crowder's wife and all of our men have the average intelligence of a Daily Wire broadcaster you know what God bless you God bless you may God bless you may God bless you bless you just bless your little heart Okay. All right. That's all I have to say. Conservatives uh, are are losing their minds in real time. They're melting their own minds, ironically, um, and uh, they and 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 we will never be stopped. The alphabet army uh, will mind control all of you. We will rule you. You will be a sissy. You will wear the dress, and if you don't, well. We'll have to melt your brain. Anyway, thank you for watching. Smack the like button. If you've got funny stories about conservatives or thoughts you'd like to say, leave a comment down below. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks a ton.